Hello friends, just a little uh, tip here in Studio Unprofessional that deals with uh, audio box and buffers and changing buffers. Here it goes. Here is Studio One. I have it uh, running and I'm going to configure audio device and I have several audio devices I switch to. Right now I'm using the audio box and if I click on control panel because I need to change these buffers and I need to make them lower so when I input I don't get latency. I don't want input latency. Input means I'm eating, inputting notes. I don't want any delay on that. So I'm going to go to my control panel. Now here's a problem. I hit control panel and uh, every once in a while it will actually come up. But most of the time it doesn't. So I could click it until my face turns blue. It's not going to happen. And part of this is a, a Windows issue too. Instead, I have to go down here to uh, my bottom right uh, taskbar. And I have to click on the icon, which is right here, the guy waving at you, I, I call it. Um, and then I get the audio box control panel. Why that doesn't work is beyond me. I've, I've asked Prisana several times. Anyway, uh, I can then lower my uh, ASIO buffer size, audio sound in and out buffer size. And when I do that, I got to close out of there. Notice my input, anything below 10 is usually, you're not going to hear the latency unless you've got some super ears, uh, is fine. So I've moved mine to 256. And the goal is not to have to change those buffers much uh, versus playing in input or output when you're playing uh, actually audio coming out of your speakers. So um, if you're hearing pops and clicks and stuff when you're playing the audio, that means you might need some more buffers, okay? Um, so the good thing is to find the sweet spot in there that is going to work. So uh, there it is, and there's a little bit of buffer changing with the audio box by Personas. Thank you.